This next video is on uh, setting the content advisor or parental controls. First, you want to go down and click on your internet icon on the bottom right of your computer. And then you want to click on uh, connect to a network and network and sharing center. It's on a regular click, sorry. And it pops up. Of course, it's too large for the screen, so I'll make it smaller. And you go here to Internet Options. And you go over here to Content. And you go to Enable. Okay, then your user account control pops up if you're using Vista or higher. Mine already has a password set because I messed with it a little bit. So I put in the password. And it tells me it's been turned on. And disable now. I'm going to go to Settings. Password again. Okay, now we get to the ratings. <clears throat> you have to click on each one of these and you set the level of uh, access you want to have. If you set it in the middle, it'll be limited, and if you set it to the far right, it'll be unrestricted. Um, if you're setting parental controls for a reason, I don't think you want unrestricted, so you want to keep it limited or to a certain amount based upon the kid's age and their level of maturity. So you go through each one of these categories and you select the amount of access you want them to have. And then of course you click apply. Um, then there's approved sites. On the approved sites you put in sites that you don't want your kids to access. Um, working for the military normally this is uh, uh, specific sites they don't want you, people to access. Um, when the content engines or cache controls can't block them. Say like parts of I think I offer you my other Tumblr or MySpace and some portions of uh, Instagram where they have different photos it might be inappropriate for kids there are other, other sites that you may know that you may find on your computers uh, searching your history uh, that your kids have went to and you put the inner all in here and you say if you want them approved or if you want them disapproved the next tab is the general tab this is where you set your password uh, once you click on this uh, it'll ask you to change your password it'll ask you to enter a password so I'll just click change password to simulate so you can see you got if you change it you have to put the one you had before and then you gotta put your new one in and of course at the bottom they want you to put in a hint never put in a hint because if your kids know you well they'll be able to figure out the hint so now the password is set if you click on rating systems or find rating system will take you out to Internet Explorer or your browser that you have set as your default and it'll take you to Microsoft uh, where they want to either sell you or allow you to use their rating systems and with do utilizing your Hotmail login or your MSN login. On the advanced tab, these are other rules that you can import from other various sites <clears throat> and apply them to your machine. So once you've done what you want to do, click apply and you click OK. Then once you go out, you should be able to go out to your Internet Explorer and check the sites and make sure that they have no access to it because it applies globally to the machine it doesn't apply specific to profiles the following video that I'm going to do do um, using ESET the antivirus uh, of choice that I like to use it actually allows you to go into and set it per profile so if you have a pro profile for you and one for your kids you can set them differently um, so it's more granular that's one of the buzzwords I like to use now um, I think it also do it with Norton Internet Explorer and I think you do it with McAfee as well you can go in and set the uh, parental controls through their software as well. Okay, and that is all I have. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you.